Want to go from this to this? Stay tuned. I'm refreshing the suspension on my Datsun Z and the condition of the hardware was pretty bad. So I figured I'd clean them up and zinc plate them for corrosion protection. There's quite a few videos of zinc plating with commercial products, but I want to use products that are relatively easy to acquire. All the products are available from your local grocery store or from Amazon. I'll put links to everything I use in the description below. First, I take an inventory of all the pieces so I know which one is which. Uh, now we're going to have to do some math. Uh, we want about 0.1 amps per square inch of item. Uh, the voltage is less important. Uh, fortunately, Caswell has an online surface area calculation tool. Uh, I'll put a link to the calculator in the description below. I then tumble the pieces with some uh, stainless steel pins uh, and some dish soap for degreasing. Uh, this process also polishes them a bit. I'll leave them tumbling for uh, several hours. Uh, it all depends on how dirty they initially are. All right, and here we have the uh, parts, the stainless steel pins, uh, extremely hot water, and some uh, Dove dish soap. All right, let's, I'm going to let them tumble for about three hours. And nothing too fancy here, just a Harbor Freight uh, rock tumbler. And since the motor has a tendency of getting uh, a little warm, I just have a uh, computer fan blowing on top of it. And this is how the parts look after six hours of tumbling. I then attached the pieces to a copper wire. Uh, I went with 24 gauge to maximize the area that gets zinc plated. Uh, but next time, I'll use a larger gauge. Uh, once they're on the wire, uh, don't touch the components with your hands. Uh, you, you don't want the grease contaminating the piece. Uh, you'll get splotchy results. According to the online calculator, the uh, components came out to be 13.9 square inches. So I'll be applying 1.39 amps. I'm wearing a protective face mask, protective gloves, and a uh, long sleeve shirt. Uh, I'm going to dunk the pieces in muriatic acid. Uh, it bubbles. Uh, leave it in there until it stops bubbling. The uh, muriatic acid is to get the grease off and etch the piece for a better zinc adhesion. The components are bubbling less and less. Um, I'll take them out once they completely stop bubbling. The pieces have stopped bubbling and now I'm just going to place them in clean distilled water. I found that using the uh, clothes pins in addition to the uh, copper wire keeps the parts in place. Uh, without them they were sliding all over the uh, copper tubing. And the uh, solution consists of 0.5 gallons of distilled water, 1.5 gallons of uh, white vinegar, 2 cups of uh, Epsom salt, uh, this increases conductivity of the solution, 1 cup of sugar, and uh, 8 ounces of caro, a light corn syrup. Uh, these are brighteners, and stir until everything dissolves. And finally, eight ounces of this uh, Caro, Caro, which is roughly half the bottle. And now we're gonna stir until everything is dissolved. And now I'm gonna prep the solution. Um, I have the uh, negative connected to one zinc plate and the positive connected to another and this is a uh, relatively inexpensive uh, adjustable power supply and I want to run it uh, at about one amp for about two three hours and if the uh, zinc plate is uh, bubbling and fizzing 
it's doing its job. And after several hours, I uh, turned off the power supply and you can see that the uh, zinc has uh, eroded into the solution. An aquarium air pump is used to agitate the zinc solution to get better coating. Uh, this one is nice uh, since it comes with the uh, tubing, the air stones, and it's also adjustable uh, via a knob. And make sure you keep the uh, pump above water level. Finally, we have the zinc plate solution set up. Uh, I have a quarter inch copper tubing to hang my parts. I crimp the ends and put a notch on the uh, bucket for it to stay in place. I then have the uh, positive connection uh, to one of the zinc plates and it's connected to the other one in series. And the parts are placed within the uh, solution. The negative connect cable is connected to the copper tubing. And I'm going to set it at a little bit higher than uh, the uh, original calculation at 1.4 uh, amps. And I'm going to leave it in the solution for about 20 minutes. And this process works better in uh, harder temperatures. I usually like to perform this function at uh, 85 degrees or higher. It's currently 91 degrees in my garage. And here's a close up of the uh, process. You can see the zinc beginning to uh, plate the components uh, by the uh, gray finish. And I've been using the uh, clothespins to agitate the products for better coverage. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I'm going to power off the unit, uh, unplug it from the wall. And then uh, I'm going to disconnect the uh, negative alligator clip from the copper tubing. And it's got a nice gray finish on all the components and I'm going to rinse them off in distilled water. And the uh, pieces have been dried off and they have a nice gray finish. I do like to remove the uh, zinc plates from the solution after I'm done uh, to prevent uh, unnecessary uh, eroding. And I'm going to use some uh, 4 aught uh, steel wool to see if I could polish the uh, pieces up a bit. And here's how the pieces look after a little bit of uh, polishing with the uh, 4 aught steel wool. I didn't rub uh, too hard because I want to make sure that the zinc uh, coating stays intact. I've been extremely happy with the results of this process, uh, especially since uh, they are suspension bolts uh, that won't be seen. Uh, the items needed are easily accessible and fairly inexpensive. I'll put uh, links to these items in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please click like and become a subscriber. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.